Okay, I'd like to show you in this video our clearance in the bottom of the die that it's even clearance all the way around. Look at that little kidney punch or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to open the part that we're building the die for. This is the part that we got from our customer or that we're designing the die for, I should say. First, I'm going to show you a good practice, I think. Let's say the die set we've already ordered and it's been torch cut already. So I think it's a good idea to come in here and again, keyboard shortcut I've got to show the relations and let's delete them all and okay that and fix them because uh, again, that's the torch cut. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a development change and I'm going to make a drastic development change just so that you can see it. We're going to add some material on one side and take some away on another side again just so you can see it. So for now we're going to get rid of the relations and close that after we save it and now let's go to that part all right so first thing we're going to do we're going to make two changes I'm going to do a move face on this say there was an engineering change and this horseshoe needs to be deeper longer whatever you want to call it by an eighth inch so we do a move face in order to do that and actually that needs to be way up at the top because again that's in the part that we're doing for our customer now the next change though is we're gonna say that we've developed developed the trim line here and let's see actually I need to roll back no I'm in the right spot so here this is where this first becomes blank just before this station mark so I'm going to again just make a drastic change so that you can see it start a sketch and we'll convert those entities draw an arc from here to here drastic and do a cut extrude and do the same thing on this side but instead of doing a cut extrude we're going to add material not cut it away just so you can see that there's nothing very special about doing this and we can update the entire die very very fast okay so there's our part now we hit control Q and that rebuilds the bodies the station marks which creates new body files and then we go to update now we've got to open we've got to open the strip assembly first we can open the annex part as well and then select uh, where is it update the update the stations of the annex part used in the strip yes we want to rebuild it because we just made a major change to it 
so that's getting rebuilt. You can see the color is changing. So um, uh, make no mistake, there some things sometimes get lost because this is a new body now and it's it's a new face. It's got a new serial number, if you will, a new ID number as far as SolidWorks is concerned, and it doesn't always recognize it. But particularly the the inner shapes behave themselves very well. So we go back to the strip layout and now we've got an error in the punch which makes sense because the punch is being created with that blank sketch that runs through the part and we made that change over here. So we click on it and hit edit the sketch. And again, how nice is it that we zoom in normal like that? Now, and we've got errors, as you can see, outside of where the geometry is changing, but typically that updates itself, as you can see right there. The problem goes away. Delete those. And convert that one. And that's, that's right, I like to show show shaded, not shaded with edges, and the sketches become much, much easier to see. So we've got a drastic change there that we made. And we'll apply that. Actually, I suppose, I think I didn't even need to apply it, but that's OK. and validate that. No, we don't have to update the strip information. And okay, we've got shaded with edges back. Look at it from the top. And it looks very, very sweet. Collapse items, no issues in the tree. And We'll close the strip layout and then look back at the tool assembly. And as you can see, it is updated all the way through the die, except through that torch cut part because we deleted the relations. So obviously that isn't going to... Same here, we deleted the relations, so that's obviously not going to update itself. Otherwise it would have. So yeah, the, the punch retainer, everything is updated. Now let's take this punch just for kicks. This back uh, punch and drag it over to the next station. We've decided to make that change for whatever reason, just to show you. And again, everything is going to update but the die shoe will not update, so there's not going to be a, a hole in the die shoe here because we deleted the relations. That hole in the die shoe is not related to that U-shaped punch anymore. But everything else in the die is related to that U-shaped punch, so everything else will update and go for the ride and move along with it. And we take a look. Indeed, you can see the die opening clearly moved. And this didn't. And what you're looking at there is the opening on the far side in the strip. And we'll look at the lower, hide that. So there's our new die opening. And the new punch is uh, has a clearance cut in the top. See you next video.